little gadgety. I'm not sure what's happening here, but a little gadgety, a little glitchy. Go your word. Oh, it's because it's finally hot. There we go. That's true. 80 degrees outside here in California. So good morning. Welcome to another episode of Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. Yes. Happy, happy hump day. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, so uh, <laughs> forgot who I was for a second. My name is Katie Hutchinson. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I'm also a certified mediator. I've been doing this for 10, 11, 12 years. I can't keep track anymore. <laughs> but And yes. I am Lindsay Kearns, the mama behind MalibuMamaLoves.com. Mm-hmm. And I'm also a conscious trauma-informed life coach. Mm-hmm. So are you guys one of those many who have fallen into the victim mentality trap? Mm-hmm. Um, when you, I want you to ask yourself, when bad things happen in life, right, mm-hmm. do you take responsibility for those things or do you blame the entire world for them? Mm-hmm. And so if so, you might be stuck in this victim mentality mode. And that's what we're talking about today. And I just want to address, as a marriage and family therapist, I cannot, I have to address this. Um, And that is that we are not talking to the person that has been horribly, horribly abused for years and years and years. This is not... suffered significant trauma. Yes. This is more geared towards the person, and we've all been there, that gets stuck in that The little, little, tiny, not, I shouldn't say tiny, but the tiny little waves Waves, and bumps that hit us all day long. And we're all hit with it. Yeah. We all can get stuck in that mode sometimes. We can. And I recently heard a very wise gentleman um, tell me this very interesting piece Mm, of advice. Share, share. Yeah, it was um, really good. He was saying that when you get stuck in the victim mentality trap, Mm -hmm. it's going to get you two things, Mm -hmm. right? It's going to get you exhausted. Yeah, that's for sure. And it's going to get you broke. Mm. It's going to put you in poverty. Mm, So you're going to be tired and broke all the time. And when you stop and you look at the people who um, are in that victim mentality all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the people around in your life, maybe at yourself. um, You're going to be depressed, too, and anxious. Right, but they are. They're usually Mm -hmm. broke, and they're always complaining, and they're always exhausted, tired. Oh, I'm Mm -hmm. so tired. Mm -hmm. I didn't sleep last night. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so tired. I have this. Mm -hmm. So... um, I want to add something. That is very true. And we're not talking, well, we are talking about if you have depression, obviously, biological depression, then we need to deal with antidepressants and get that fixed in order for you to be able to deal with this victim mentality. Yeah. Yeah. But we're talking to the person that's just constantly blaming other people. Yeah. And I think that's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes people can take responsibility for their actions and, you know, that's fine. This is the person that is constantly blaming yes. other people, other things for their circumstances. Yes. This is a person that stubs their toe in the morning and is like, ugh, yeah. and then my gel toenail got ruined on top of it. My whole day is ruined. They're living life as if it's being done to, to them. them rather than that they have some control. And we right. do have for some them. control. We don't have control over everything, but we have control over our reactions and our choices that we make. Absolutely. Our choices that we make. Yeah. Right. And I also think it's kind of like an acquired personality trait, too. It can be sometimes when you fall into it of an avoidance, trying yeah. to avoid not taking responsibility for your life. I think it's nature and nurture. I mean, I think that there are certain people that are born with more resilience and they're lucky. And then I, I think that, you know, who we're surrounded by, who we're raised by has, is so, so important. And if we're around a parent or a grandparent or whoever took care of you and they're constantly seeing life as negative and depressing and yeah. blah, blah, blah. It's hard to not take on that character trait. It is. Yeah. We actually have a joke, a running joke in New England um, that I love to tell people because it is really funny and it is 100% true. I've actually experienced yeah. this for myself. Uh-huh. We'd say in New England, you can go back to the same bar 20 years later, mm-hmm. find the same person sitting mm-hmm. on the exact same stool, having the exact same drink, complaining about the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. And that's <laughs> And also, I'm sure go to an Irish pub and deal with the same thing, right? But it's funny, and it's true that, you know, you can, it's like this, you know, avoidance of life, and Mm -hmm. just, I'm going to blame the whole world. And Mm -hmm. that's who we want to talk to today, because that's hard. That's a hard space to be stuck in. You don't have to live like that. And we both experience this victim mentality. We're not better than this. We're just both dealing with it every day. And we've overcome it, mm-hmm. right? Well, we're, yes, and I think it's always a process with anything. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? and like we like to say, you can have your few moments, your little pity party, but 
you've got to be able to move on. Mm-hmm. You have to make a good choice. You, you've got to be able to move on and um, get out of that mentality. Yes, I actually believe in having your pity party. I believe yep. in crying, and if you have to sleep, I believe in letting it out of your body because it poisons your body. Correct. So I always say to my clients, okay, your boyfriend broke up with you. I'm so, so sorry. Let's go through this. Let's process this. Allow yourself to have a week of where you feel so sad and you feel like nobody else is going to like you and whatever else. And then get back on the bandwagon. Yeah, for Just sure. Just get back on the bandwagon because... But sometimes people can get frozen by their fear. Mm-hmm. And they get true. stuck in this victim mentality and they have you know, depression and unhealed childhood trauma wounds that are coming up. Anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and it's really, really hard. Yeah. You know? Oh, oh, can I tell my story? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Okay, so my boyfriend um, speaks Arabic, and so I'll say, honey, um, can you put up the four pictures that have been sitting there for a year that I've been asking you to put up? (laughs) And he's like, inshallah. Well, what inshallah means is by God's will. And um, not making fun of this, but I'm like, honey, it's not just inshallah. I mean, yes, it's inshallah that you feel good enough that day, but it would also help if you got up off the couch and got a hammer and some nails and actually put those pictures up. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not just inshallah. It's we have control too. Yeah, and I think it's important. That's like a great example for. You know, you need to be motivated. You mm-hmm. have to make that choice mm-hmm. to say, I'm not going to blame the world. I'm not going to just let it happen. I'm going to be take action. And I'm, I'm going to try to be happy. Yeah. And I'm going to try to see these little bumps as normal because they are normal. Yeah. And let's normalize them. But if you focus on them, you're going to be so quick to exhaust not only yourself, but probably your bank account too. Mm-hmm. That's true. And you yeah. know what? I really believe in humor and reframing for yourself okay so I stubbed my toe you know whatever I'm just gonna look at this day as how many issues can happen to me and it's kind of funny you were just supposed to wear sneakers that day exactly (laughs) go put the no more flip flops (laughs) exactly so there's four major signs Mm -hmm. if you are suffering from the victim mentality that we're gonna ask you these four questions Mm -hmm. if they resonate with or if any of them resonate with you, yeah. or you can identify with any of them, mm-hmm. you might be stuck in the, the victim mentality trap right mm-hmm. now. Yes. So, first question. Okay. Do you catastroph... Oh, my God. Why do I have Catastro- such a... C- catastrophize. I know this word. <laughs> I don't know why I can't get it out. Sorry. Do you catastrophize? I got it. All your, your problems. problems. Um, do you feel like you're helpless, like you have no control? What yes. else? So, one, do you make everything bigger and larger in life than you do? That's right. catastrophizing. Got do you it. you feel powerless? Mm-hmm. Negative inner self dialogue where you are constantly putting yourself down, calling yourself names, telling yourself you can't do it. Mm-hmm. And um, that's where the reframing comes in and yeah. actually the cognitive behavioral therapy. I'm a big believer in cognitive behavioral therapy, changing your thought processes. Yeah, and a lot of people in this mode self-sabotage mm-hmm. a lot, which yeah. is, is hard. Now, do you feel like the world is out to get you? Mm-hmm. Like every step you make is wrong. Mm-hmm. So these are four main so- uh, questions. And if any of that sounds familiar to you, then or you're, you're stuck in the ven- victim mentality mode, <laughs> and let's try to pull you out of it. Yep, the first step to breaking out of it is something she's been talking about this whole time. I have. Awareness. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> you have to become, uh, for anything, any issue, yep. if you're not aware, how can you make any changes? And it's about aware. taking that subconscious and, and bringing it, it to the, the conscious. conscious. And then we have and to deal with it. And then we have to deal, well, some people don't. But, yes, the goal would be to deal with it. And then to come, okay, yeah. I, gen, I I tend to, to head to the negative side rather than the positive side. Mm-hmm. So let me try to edge towards positivity. Yeah. And, you know, and I think a lot is just really understanding that you are doing this. Right. And right? it's repetition. You're going to yeah. fall back. Just like with eating disorders, just like with addiction, you're going to fall back into your old habits, and yeah. then you've got to get back on the bandwagon and keep keep repeating the positivity. Right, right. And, you know, once you become aware, once you have a good understanding for what's going on with yourself, mm-hmm. I really feel like the next step is to shift your mentality out of that victim mode mm-hmm. into the fact that you are a survivor. Mm-hmm. This may have happened to you, but guess what? 
you survived. And you're resilient. Yes. You're resilient. And you can, once you acknowledge and say, okay, I'm not a victim, I'm a survivor, mm -hmm. you can learn to start to turn that pain into purpose. And like we talk about in our seven week program and in our masterclass, we can rewrite these neural pathways mm -hmm. and start to create healthier habits and, we, and inner dialogues and reframing things in a way that will allow us to attract success to and positive have success. people. Yeah, yes. with the laws of attraction. You yeah. Know, you think about that. If you're constantly negative, mm -hmm. negativity is going to find its way to you. Mm -hmm. And you're going to find your way towards more negativity. And if you're positive and you're focusing on the good things, more things will come. Mm -hmm. Right? So I think that's important um, to sort of understand is that, and also our human bodies were designed to survive. So when you like go back to basics for a minute and you mm -hmm. think this mentality is like, no, we were created. Nature created us to survive. Mm -hmm. So the world isn't against you. The world is fighting for you. It's mm -hmm. just that mentality shift of no longer everything's happening to me. No, everything is happening for you mm -hmm. as a survivor. And I have control over my reaction and recognizing there's some things I don't have control over. Yeah. You know. And this is, you know, I love doing this with our master class because this is like almost an aha moment for a lot of people when they realize, like, I don't have to be bound by these things. Yes. I yes, don't have to talk to yes, myself this way. Yes. And I want to tout her master class again. I know it's annoying, but <laughs> our master class. I, your master class. <laughs> I was going to say that I've said this before. I really think it's such a great program. I'm not just saying that because she's my friend. I really think it's a great program. I'm going to use it with my clients. I just think it's yeah. a great. Well, you need to address stuff. So many of us are running around without, with all this unhealed childhood trauma. Most of us. We're having reactions. We're not understanding things. And yeah. We want to stop that. Yeah. And it's a we great workbook. And it's, and so it's something that I think is wonderful. Yeah. So I'll put the link down there um, in the comments for it if you want to join us yes. for that. But in the interim, mm -hmm. we do have six tips for you today yes. that can sort of help you to start uh, to get yourself out of that victim, victim mentality, mentality trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the first one is something we've already talked about. Awareness and acceptance. And understanding what is going on, why you are reacting this way. Right. Um, and that's, that's a major thing. And it's okay. Mm -hmm to be stuck this way. I think mm -hmm. embracing yourself, forgiving yourself, and understanding yourself mm -hmm. really is an important part of this process. Yes, and like I said, allow yourself to have the pity party. Allow mm -hmm. yourself, okay, your boyfriend broke up with you. I'm a loser. I'm never going to find anybody else, blah, blah, blah. Allow yourself for a few days to have this and then jump back up yeah. on the bandwagon. And no way, no way, I deserve better. If yep. he doesn't want me or she doesn't want me, whatever, it's their loss. Yep. And you've got to, it, but it takes effort to get there. Yes, it does. It does. So the next one is to identify and rewrite those limiting limiting beliefs that we were just talking about. Which is reframing, which yeah. we'll do a whole segment on. Yes, yeah, that's we a, love, that's one of my favorite exercises to yes, do. Is, yes, You know, and especially once you learn how to reframe, mm -hmm. you can apply it in so many areas oh gosh, of your life such and it can a, help. Such a great term and yeah. such a great, I don't The next know. one is really big. you got to change your inner dialogue. So that goes back to... to I really believe I'm a big proponent of cognitive behavioral therapy, and that's mm -hmm. all about changing your cognitions, changing your thoughts. Yep. Those neural pathways. Yes, and that can take about. time, but keep working on it. But it's so well worth it. Uh -huh. And I think it's, it's just 30 process. to 60 days, and in the grand scheme of life, mm -hmm. it's a blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So um, next is really to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. I know you've been avoiding it. That's what victim mentality is all about, is avoiding any kind of responsibility. Mm -hmm. But where has that gotten you? You're probably broke. You're definitely exhausted. Mm -hmm. Are you doing the things that you want to be doing? Are you motivated? Probably not. Probably not. Mm -hmm. So it's time to take responsibility. Mm -hmm. There is no knight in shining armor coming to save you. No inshallah today. No I'm inshallah. sorry. Yes. But you've got to do it for yourself. That right. knight in shining armor lives right inside your heart. Exactly. And right appreciate what you have. You know, I don't believe in comparing, um, I don't believe in comparing ourselves to others because I deal a lot with eating disorders and whatever else. But in this, in this, when it comes to victim mentality, we have to look at all the things that we have been blessed with. We mm -hmm. live in America, for goodness sakes. Yeah. You know. Electricity, running water. We have, exactly. We're not beds. in India. We're not in Africa. We're not in Vietnam. And so 
just being thankful, yeah, that we have running water, that we have a toilet, yeah. that we have a roof over and our even head. And sometimes have to take it down to those basics and say, okay, and once you start appreciating those small Tiny few things, little things, it just will like snowball and so many more things you'll realize that you have to appreciate. And it starts to shift that mentality a little mm -hmm. bit from focusing on the negative things to really appreciating and being happy for the positive things. Yes, exactly. And it's that mentality shift that we need to get us to thinking positive. Yeah, and so that's what it is. It's We're going to think tip. positive. So it's awareness, yeah. it's acceptance, it's reframing, yeah. it's which is Changing learning to dialogue. change your inner dialogue, yeah. and taking responsibility. Taking responsibility and then learning to be positive. Yeah. And this is going to take time, so don't beat yourself up. And yeah. we're here to help you. It does. Free therapy. No hidden costs. <laughs> Send us questions, whatever. We're here to help yeah. you. Yeah. And, you know, these are all great tips. Just one last tip I want to leave you with before we uh, let you go for today. Mm -hmm. And that's find your tribe. Yeah. Don't go through this alone. We always say this. And, you know, the people that you keep around you, really are a testament to what's going on inside of you. You mm -hmm. want to keep people around you that are motivating you, that are exciting you, that are mm -hmm. interesting to you. Mm -hmm. Not people that just want to sit and complain. Mm -hmm. You know? And and people where you build them up and they build, build you, you up. Because we're yeah. all going to go through little things and it's yeah. nice to have supportive people around you. Because we have to remember at the end of the day, you are in control of your thoughts. Mm -hmm. You can make those choices when you're ready to. Mm -hmm. And we'll be here for you, right? Yes, we will. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're going to let you Happy go for today. Wednesday. Happy and, Wednesday. And I want to say on Friday we're talking about histrionic personality disorder. That's going to be yeah. I can't wait to hear that. All right, we'll talk to you on Friday, guys. Bye. Bye.